हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑनलाइन टीचिंग थिंक अबाउट हाउ द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम वर्क इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट बायोलॉजी बट आल्सो अबाउट द कनेक्शन एंड इंटीमेसी द वे आवर बॉडी रेस्पॉन्ड टू ईच अदर क्रिएट अ ब्यूटीफुल एंड एक्साइटिंग डांस ऑफ डिजायर मेकिंग the experience of closeness special and meaningful so you may understand what is the topic about um, this video that is the reproductive system today we know about the male and female reproductive system at their function and their structure so before going to the to main topic uh if you do not subscribe my channel then please subscribe this video includes the structure of male and female reproductive system the internal and the external part of the male and female reproductive system are described in shortly and it is easy to understood the male reproductive system consists of organ involved in reproduction and urination produce maintain and transport semen and sperm is the main function of the male reproductive system so sperm are the male reproductive cell while semen is the fluid that protect and carries them it includes internal and external components so external part of the male reproductive system consists with penis scrotum and testicles now we discuss about the external part in details so first point is penis penis is divided into three part root body and head so root the base of the penis attached to the abdomen is known as root the body body compares three chamber which include two corpora cavernous and one corpus spongiosum that fill with blood during erosal leading to an erection come to the next point that is head the tip of the penis often covered by the foreskin it contain the urethra which transport urine and semen when erect the penis allow for sexual intercourse and prevent urine flow during ejaculation another external part is scrotum the scrotum is a pouch like sac of the skin located behind the penis that contain the testicles it protect the testicles and helps to regulate the temperature essential for sperm development muscles in the scrotum allow to allow it to contract to maintain warmth or relax to the cool the testicle so next point is testicles the testicles are oval shaped organ within the scrotum responsible for producing sperm and testosterone they are held in place by the spermatic cord and contain the seminiferous tubules where sperm cells are generated through the spermatogenesis next one is epididymis the epididymis is a coiled tube located behind the each testicles it is store and mature sperm making them capable for fertilization so we see that the external part of the male reproductive systems are consist with penis scrotum and testicles penis have three part that is root body and head and the scrotum is a pouch like sac located behind the penis and next is the testicles testicles are the oval shaped organ within the scrotum and lastly the epididymis epididymis is a coiled tube located behind the east testicles 
so now we discuss about the internal components of the male reproductive system the internal part of the male reproductive system consists with vas deferens ejaculatory ducts urethra seminal vesicles fostered glands and vulvar urethral glands so come to the first point is first difference a long muscular tube that transport the mature sperm from the epididymis to the urethra for ejaculation next point is the ejaculatory ducts formed by the junction of each vas deferens and the seminal vesical duct this duct passes through the posterior and add fluids to the semen before emptying into the urethra third point is urethra the tube that carries urine from the bladder and also ejaculates semen during the orgasm fourth point is seminal vesicle sac like pouch that produce about 80% of the ejaculatory fluid include the fructose which provide energy for the sperm motility and fifth point is prostate gland a oil nut size gland below the bladder that adds the fluid to the ejaculate nourishing the sperm the urethra runs through its center and sixth point is bulbar urethra glands p size gland that produce a clear fluid that lubricate the urethra and neutralize any residual acidity from urine now we discuss about the female reproductive system as our next topic the female reproductive system consists of body part that enable sexual intercourse reproduction and menstruation it include both external and internal structures external part of the female reproductive system consists with vulva labia majora labia minora clitoris vaginal opening hymen and urethral opening now discuss in details the external part of the female reproductive system first one is vulva the collective term for the external genital often confused with the vagina next is labia majora labia majora is a outer large leaf that protect other external organ and contains gland labia minora the inner small leaves that surround the vaginal opening and urethra clitoris is a sensitive protrusion comparable to the male penis located at the meeting point of the labia minora next is the vaginal opening allow for the exit of the menstrual blood and child blood and entry for the tampons and the intercourse hymen the tissue that partially cover the vaginal opening urethra opening the exit for the urine internal part of the female reproductive system consists to it vagina cervix uterus ovaries and fallopian tubes so come to the first point this is vagina a muscular canal connecting the cervix to the outside which is capable for winding for childbirth and lined with the moist mucous membrane cervix cervix is the lowest part of the uterus there is a hole in the middle allow sperm to enter and menstrual blood to exit your cervix open to allow a baby to come out during a vaginal childbirth your cervix is what prevent things like the tampons from getting lost inside your body next point is uterus your uterus is a hollow pure shaped organ that hold a fetus during pregnancy your uterus is divided into two part that is cervix and the corpus 
your corpus is the largest larger part of your uterus that expands during pregnancy ovaries ovaries are small oval shaped gland that are located on the either side of your uterus ovaries produce eggs and hormones next is the fallopian tubes these are narrow tube that are attached to the upper part of the uterus and serve as a pathway for egg to travel from ovary to the uterus fertilization of an egg by sperm normally occur in the fallopian tubes they fertilize egg then move to the uterus where it implant in your uterine lining fertilization begin with the sperm traveling through the female reproductive tract to meet an egg in the fallopian tube when a sperm successfully penetrates the egg's outer layer it trigger chemical changes that prevent outer sperm from entering this fusion forms a zygote which then begins to divide and develop as it moves towards the uterus once in uterus the developing embryo can implant into the uterine lining leading to pregnancy